What is up everybody? It's Brian with MTNMix.com. Sorry for the long hiatus. Life happened. I had to put some things on the back burner, but I promise to keep those to a minimal. So today we're going to be learning how to do a Post Malone vocal effect. Search YouTube. Nothing really too clear on how to get the effect, so I figured I'd bring it to you guys. So take a look. All right, cool. So we're on the screen now. Uh, what we got here is a pretty simple session from Nolan Santo. Uh, it's essentially, we got more stuff down here, but we're going to be focusing on just this main vocal, the purple track right here. The green is the two track. So let's rename this Nolan verse. So essentially, we're going to be looking at this track right here. I'm going to play it for you without sort of the effects on it uh, I'll keep the tune on and I'll show you what it sounds like dry don't know why I feel like I've been living in a dream yeah dream yeah what I mean yeah everything I've ever done was never what it seemed yeah what does that mean I just woke up and rose up now every so the first thing that I did is I put an SSL channel strip on it. This is a Waves plugin. Uh, it's a great plugin. Uh, what I'm using it for is to cut out this initial low end as well as compress it a little bit. That's actually all that's going on in this plugin, um, besides maybe this negative 1.6 dip um, on the on the EQ as well. But for the most part. It's really just smoothing it out a little bit. You'll see that I'm probably just hitting around three decibels of gain reduction on the compressor. Um, I don't have the fast attack on, mainly because I hop over to the CLA 76 a little bit later to capture those faster uh, syllables that need to be compressed. So take a listen. I'm going to uh, unbypass this about uh, one bar in. Don't know why I feel like I've been living in a dream, yeah. What I mean, yeah. Everything I've ever done was never what it seemed, yeah. What does that mean? I just woke up and rose up. Now everyone still knows us all in. So you can see that it smooths it out a little bit. There still has to be some compression done, uh, which will be done down the line. The next thing that I do is I throw a Pro Q2 on here from Fab Filter. I do a little bit more uh, kind of surgical things. Uh, his high end, uh, anything above 5K was coming out clean. Um, I did notice that there was some uh, unwanted frequencies, I guess you could say, around 1.5K, 1.7K. Uh, and then I, I got rid of some muddiness around 500 hertz. And then I uh, just reiterated the fact of the SSL uh, low cut in the Pro Q2. You'll see it once the waveform plays. Let me play this for you. I'll unbypass it after that same one bar. Don't know why I feel like I've been living in a dream, yeah. Dream, yeah. What I mean, yeah. Everything I've ever done was never what it seemed, yeah. What does that mean? I just woke up and rose up. Now everyone still knows us. All now let me just play this for you. Um, and, uh show you the exaggeration of what this frequency was just woke up and rose up now everyone still knows us all in the town i put it down they see the grind and won't touch out no. you know how we live Ay. we just get what we give Ay. i'm just using my gift Ay. yeah i need somewhere to find peace and stay through all the things i brought to life for yelling so you could hear the muddiness and sort of that telephonic kind of crunchiness that's going on uh, around 1.7 so that brings us to the next compressor that i use uh, it's the last compressor that i use it's a very fast attack compressor it's known for that uh, it's the cla 76 by waves it emulates the uh, 76 compressor compressor the hardware counterpart of it um, you can see here i have a pretty fast attack anything on this dial will be a fast attack. One thing to note is for this compressor, the higher the number, the faster the attack compared to a lot of compressors where one will be the faster attack. Same thing goes for the release time. So I'm gonna uh, just start with this bypass and then I'll play it halfway through. I'll start at a different bar. Just woke up and rose up. Now everyone still knows us all in the town. I put it down, they see the grind and won't touch out. No. You know how we live. 
We just get what we give, ay. I'm just using my gift, ay. yeah. I need somewhere to find peace and stay through all the things I brought to life. We're yelling, please be careful. All the years I wasted. So you can see that that compressor brings a little bit of life and uh, consistency throughout the vocal. The next thing that I do is my additive EQ. I add a little bit of body back around 200 hertz or so, uh, 2.246 hertz to be exact. And then I also add a little bit of a crispiness, kind of brightness to the vocal um, starting around 5K. And what that will do is it'll push it to the front of the mix a little bit more while keeping the body in the mix. So uh, I'm gonna play this for you and I'll start with the bypass just as usual. I brought to life, we're yelling, please be careful. All the years I wasted, all the fears I'm facing, everything that haunts me is so near I taste it. Don't know why it feels. All right, cool. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna ha I'm gonna bypass all of these plugins besides the auto tune, um, and then I'll I'll turn them all on at once. So let's take a listen. Yeah, I need somewhere to find peace and stay through all the things I brought to life. We're yelling, please be careful. All the years I. All right, so you could see when I do everything one at a time, it sounds like nothing's really going on, but when you put everything into context together, there is a big difference. The next thing that we're going to do is go into where we're start going to start to get this Post Malone effect. Uh, it goes without saying, the first effect that you should have on is your auto-tune. Post Malone uses auto-tune very generously, so uh, it goes without saying that that is a plugin that you do want to invest in. Uh, whether you're going for this effect or not, it's very commonly asked for and used. So the next plugin that I'm going to go into, um, as far as my signal chain goes, is Isotope Nectar 2. This is a really cool plugin. It offers a lot, although all I'm using in it is the Harmony Engine and the delay that it, it comes with. So the Harmony Engine is what's going to give you that effect, the uh, quote-unquote Post Malone effect. He has these digital... Um, whether they're digital or not, they probably aren't in real life. He probably records harmonies on top of them. But this will get the job done if you're working with somebody who can't really sing that great. So what I have here are three harmonies. The first one, I'm going down an octave. I'm working strictly with octaves for these uh, examples. The first one, I have panned all the way to the left headphone. Uh, and that's down an octave. I have a matching pair all the way to the right headphone. So that will create a lower bodied stereo width. And then up here, uh, a little bit louder, you can see the decibels over here. So this is negative 7.4. This is negative 17.1, so big difference. This orange guy is your main vocal. Uh, so three, uh, negative 7.4 is going up an octave. So I'm going to play this for you. Um, I'll turn this delay off for now, and I'll bypass this, and I'll uh, turn this on once we get into it. Oh, I feel like I've been living in a dream, yeah. What I mean, yeah. Everything I've ever done was never what it seemed, yeah. What does that mean? I just woke up and rose up. Now everyone still knows us. All in the town, I put it down. They see the grind and won't touch hell. No. You know how we live. So you can see right there, there's a pretty cool effect, and that's the effect that we're going for. The next thing that we're going to want to do, that you don't have to do it, a lot of people will do it with the send effect, which I also did but you could add a delay onto here. And by doing that, it'll uh, create a little more depth with your vocals, so take a listen. Oh, I feel like I've been living in a dream, yeah. Dream, yeah. What I mean, yeah. Everything I've ever done was never what it seemed, yeah. Barely noticeable. You can hear probably once I hit stop, uh, but it does add a little bit of depth and texture to the vocal. The last thing I did as far as the signal chain goes is put another EQ on. This is just personal preference. I took out around 500 hertz just because I thought that the vocal was a little bit muddy after I added those low octave harmonies. Once I was done with the insert effects, I went over to these send effects. Um, you see this in my videos a ton of times. Uh, I have one send effect going to a reverb bus. In this case, I use the Manny Mariquin uh, reverb by Waves, and I use the default hall reverb that actually is already up when you load up the plugin so i didn't change a single thing on here um it sounds really good take a listen oh i feel like i've been living in a dream yeah dream yeah what i mean yeah everything i've ever done was never what it seemed yeah so you can hear the the nice hall lush reverb in there last thing that i did 
is I added a delay send. And what I did with this delay, I have H delay from Waves as well, is I had a pretty quick delay, kept it as stereo, I didn't ping pong it, and I went to the grid, added the lo-fi, and added a little bit of high pass. Um, one thing that I like to point out whenever using H delay is to turn this stupid analog knob off. Um, you can hear right here, if you're on two, you have that white noise, which is, I think, really stupid. So you could turn that off. Uh, the next thing that you're going to want to do is have that send effect uh, send to that auxiliary bus. Why I feel like I've been living in a dream, yeah. Dream, yeah. What I mean, yeah. Everything I've ever done was never... And the last thing that I did was I added a S1 imager also from Waves to add to the width, width of that delay bus. And by doing that, it'll create a wider delay, something that's less in your face and a little more subtle. So take a listen with that imager. I'm going to start with the bypass and then I'll turn it back on. Don't know why I feel like I've been living in a dream, yeah. Dream, yeah. What I mean, yeah. Everything I've ever done was never what it seemed, yeah. What does that mean? I just woke up and rose up, now every so that's really the extent of it. Uh, listening back now, I actually want to turn this feedback of this delay bus down a little bit. That's a little bit long of a tail. But that's the gist of it. Uh, of course, you do want to mix to the beat. So if you have a different instrumental, you might have to do a different uh, tweak in the EQ. But as far as how to get that general Post Malone vocal effect, uh, these are the steps that I do approach whenever I get that request. So leave it in the comments if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. I'd love to hear it. And until next time, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Don't know why I feel like I've been living in a dream, yeah. Dream, yeah. What I mean, yeah. Everything I've ever done was never what it seemed, yeah. What does that mean? I just woke up and rose up. Now everyone still knows us. All in the town, I put it down. They see the grind and won't touch out. No. You know how we live, ay. we just get what we give, ay. I'm just using my gift, ay. yeah. I need somewhere to find peace and stay through all the things I brought to life. We're yelling, please be careful. All the years I wasted, all the fears I'm facing, everything that haunts me is so near I taste it. Don't know why it feel like I've been living in a dream, yeah. in a dream, yeah. what I mean, yeah. Anything I've ever done was never what it seemed, yeah. Same, yeah. What does that mean?